Good morning and welcome to this Pico 8 video where I will be making Snake, or at least part of it. Pico 8 is a fantasy console that you can make games for, and I thought that it would be a very good way to limit myself and keep me from taking on a project that is beyond my current abilities as a game developer. And since in Pico 8 you have to basically code everything on your own, seemed like a very good way to constrain myself. I also chose uh, Snake as the first project because I have a clear idea of what I want the end product to look like and there is no design work to do. It has already been done for me. So with that said, let's take a look at what I will be trying to achieve today. I broke down the game into some milestones and since today I also have to do the introduction, I'm going to keep today's milestone one quite small, uh, which will be basically just a moving box that I can control. So as you can see here on the right side, I have Visual Studio Code open, which I'll be using to code the Pico 8 game. On the left, I have the Pico 8 console running, and I have this main.lua file, and this snake.p8 file, basically the snake.p8 file is what I what I get when I go to the code editor on the Pico8 side. As you can see, I am including main.lua. And in main.lua, I have the actual logic for the game. This is so that I can maybe separate the files and keep some some parts of the code in a, in some files and other parts in, in different files to make the files a bit more like self-contained and and overall easier to to navigate so in in main.lua i have the three functions that pico8 calls so there's the init function that is called at the start there is the update function that is called at the at every frame and then there's the draw function that finally draws things to the screen so this currently draws a clear screen with a color of three which corresponds to a greenish color uh, that hopefully is somewhat res reminiscent of the uh, Nokia version of the snake game. So if I go here and I do load snake and then do run, then I have a green screen and that's perfect. So now let's get a box on the screen. I have this global variable called snake and I will give this a position. This will be a Lua table, which is like a JavaScript object or a Ruby hash and this will have an X property of let's say 20 and a Y property of let's say 20 as well. And now here in draw, we have we can use a function called rect fill, which as you can see, draws a filled in rectangle shape. It needs four coordinates. So let's give it four coordinates. Mm, it can be snake.position.x. I will replicate this four times. Snake that position that y, snake that position that x again, and snake that position that y. And this will now draw, and I'll give it a color as well of zero. So that's black. Um, so now this should draw a black pixel at 20 and 20. Let's see. Apparently not doing anything. Oh, okay, because it's actually the size is 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 zero so if i do plus one here then maybe this will draw one pixel all oh, right i know what i'm doing i'm clearing the screen after i'm drawing my snake so back to the initial idea of drawing one pixel this works perfect so i want this to be a two by two box so i'll go and specify that snake has a rect size of two and I will add this to the other coordinates. So plus snake dot rect size. Now it draws a bigger box, but this actually means that it is um, it's already three pixels in uh, in in its uh, in size. So I have to go and subtract one here to make it a two by two uh, box. So. So far, so good. Now that we have the box on the screen, I want to make it move and I'll use the update function for that. So I'll say snake.position 
that x plus equals so that means increment this by one actually i'll say two which is also snake dot rect size move this in increments of two so let's see if the box is already moved and indeed it is so perfect so far so good uh, i'll do the same for the y position mm, so now i should be moving down like in a diagonal direction also works that's great uh, but i don't actually want to move it by direct size i want to move it by a direction so i'll go and create a table for my directions and i'll say directions dot right rules and this is another way that you can initialize tables you can just give it the keys like this so i'll say directions that's right i'll say an x value of one and a y value of zero and now i will give the snake a direction property which will also be right this would be a string now i can say um do, 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 directions of key snake that direction times snake that rec size so the directions uh the directions table will be giving me the the value oh and i also need to say dot x here and dot y here so basically when i get here I will look at this, then directions, then this will be evaluated to right, then this will be returned. So this x is this x corresponds to this. And I will multiply this by direct size. So this will be two effectively, and this will be zero. So now when I run this, the box should be moving to the right um two pixels every frame. I have a syntax error. So filter before everything on field. Okay, so it doesn't recognize the field. What if I do and direction dot right right? I do it like this. I say right equals what about this? And now it works fine. Okay, so I don't know exactly why right didn't work uh, in the other way, but this is also fine. So uh, I have the box moving right, which is great. Now I need to be able to change its direction. So I will first of all go and like flesh out this directions table. And we can now have, so let's say right, left is just the opposite of right. We can have down, or sorry, we can have up, which has an x value of zero because it doesn't move left or right. And uh, up is minus one in the, in the coordinate system. And finally, we can have down, which is the opposite of, uh, of up, so minus one. And now all we need to do is just change the snake's direction and then get the correct direction from the directions table. So we can do that by using this function called if btnp, so button pressed. And the buttons all have numbers associated with them. So button left, for example, is zero, and button right is one, up is two, and down is three. So we can say that if during this frame, etnp0 returns true the snake that direction will be uh, left so if i run this the snake will start moving to the right and then if i hit left it should start moving to the left syntax error I need to close my if statement with a then run again hit left and it works. So I'll just duplicate this line and I'll go one, two, three, 
And as I said, one means right, two means up, and three means down. So let's run it again. Now I should be able to move in all four directions. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, so my mistake is that down is still minus one. So let me try again. Down, left, up, right, left, down, right. Okay, so now if you're familiar with the game of Snake, you'll notice that this is um, not the correct way of moving. In Snake, you cannot go back. So if you're moving like down, you cannot go up directly. You can only go left and right if you're moving down. But we'll take care of this in a future video. So I have hit the mouse on one. I have a moving box that I can control. I will use these uh, italics uh, symbols to indicate that I am done. And this means that I'm also done with the video. So yay. Hopefully I will stick with this project and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.